In an earlier video, we saw that supplementing with 600 milligrams of niacin per day, more specifically nicotinic acid, increased NAD to 67 micromolar, which is about two to three times higher than my baseline of at most around 25 micromolar. But on the same day as that test, I sent blood for epigenetic analysis, and we saw my worst epigenetic pace of aging as measured by Dunedin Pace at 0.98. So with that in mind, can low-dose nicotinic acid raise NAD and potentially not mess with the epigenetic pace of aging? So to test that, I supplemented with a 10 times lower dose, 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid for 10 days. I then sent blood to Genfinity for NAD analysis, and if you want to measure your own NAD levels, there'll be a discount link in the video's description. And then for an October 2nd test, we, see, we can see that my NAD levels were 38 micromolar, which, as we'll see in a minute, is above my baseline of, again, at most, 25 micromolar. But where the story gets interesting is that 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid per day increased NAD as much as 1,000 milligrams of NMN. And that's what we'll see here. So I've tested NAD levels in 2023 so far 11 times. And when I first started without any precur NAD precursors, NMN, NR, uh, niacin, we can see that my baseline was 25.6 micromolar. I then supplemented with 300 milligrams of NMN per day, which didn't move the needle in terms of increasing NM, uh, NAD levels. But when supplementing with 1,000 milligrams of uh, NMN per day, we can see that that increased it to 39 micromolar, which is in the same ballpark of what I saw with just 60 milligrams per day of nicotinic acid. So if there's an NMN ban, no problem. Low dose nicotinic acid, at least in my case, just 60 milligrams per day, increases NAD. Now I mentioned that above uh, about 25 micromolar is my upper limit for my baseline. And we can see that I've got six tests below 25 micromolar without NAD precursors, but I've been able to get NAD above 25 micromolar for uh, five tests. We just saw the 1,000 milligrams of NMN per day, we saw 60 milligrams of nicotinic acid, and then there are three other tests where I was able to get it above 25 micromolar. For one of those tests, it was supplementing with vitamin B6, nine milligrams per day, and I may go back to that since that's a relatively low dose that didn't mess with other biomarkers. And then for the other two, it was high dose nicotinic acid, which 600 milligrams per day, which we saw raised it to 67 micromolar, and then again, 600 milligrams of nicotinic acid, but then I added tryptophan, trying to maximize NAD production through the de novo NAD synthesis pathway. All right, so what I don't yet know, even though I know that low-dose nicotinic acid can increase NAD, I don't yet know if that NAD rise and that low dose of niacin can impact Dunedin pace. So stay tuned for that data. I'm going to send that blood for analysis at the end of November. Results probably sometime in January. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links and merch that you may be interested in, including discount links for NAD quantification, epigenetic and telomere testing, at-home metabolomics, oral microbiome composition, at-home blood testing, including ApoB, green tea, diet tracking, or if you'd like to support the channel, you could do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch, so if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Die Trying brand, including the one I've got on here, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.